are watching Flavor Friday, and today we're going to be talking to you about something called sweet thickener. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is and haven't ever tried it, it's pretty amazing. It is, um, it is an option for those that want to have a, a simple syrup that is sugar-free, calorie-free. This is pretty amazing. We've, uh, we've offered this for many years, and we can't keep the stuff on the shelf. We have three different sizes, so you can either make a, a pint of sugar-free syrup that you can make any flavor you want, okay? This creates a, a neutral, uh, sugar-free syrup, that in, in any concentrate, whether it's the, the traditional line or the natural line, you can use any flavor um, to add to the sugar-free sugar syrup. If you want to make uh, a pint, you use one stick, okay? If you want to make a quart, two sticks. And then we also have a, a bulk option that makes a gallon, and then uh, another bulk option that makes five gallons. So what is really neat about the sweet thickener is that it is thick like simple syrup would be, okay? So in, in a container this size, if you're, if you're making sugar water, which is what it, you usually do when you make a syrup to go on shaved ice, this is almost full of sugar. But we've taken all of that sugar out and you're just using one small stick pack, okay, to make this sugar-free. Now, because we've removed all of the sugar, uh, we, had to, we had to add some ingredients that would make the, the sucralose, the basically Splenda, that's how people recognize it. We added some ingredients to make it thick like real simple syrup. So what I would like to do is show you how to make this and I'd also like to show you why you can't just take Splenda or sucralose and put it in a bottle and add water to it. We have a lot of people call, uh, call in the office and ask, you know, well, wh why do I need to buy your sweet thickener? Why can't I just get, you know, Splenda at the grocery store and, and make my own? I'm gonna show you why you can't do that because it would just be the consistency of, of water. It's like taking a, a Diet Coke and pouring it over shaved ice. It goes right through the ice uh, but with our formula, it is, it, it is thick and it coats the ice and it really is the closest thing you could ever find to real simple syrup. So I am going to demonstrate first how to make a pint of Snowy's Sweet Thickener. So 12 of these, 12 of these stick packs come in this bag, okay? So you can, have, you can make 12 pints or six quarts. Okay, so here's our stick, okay? I like to flick it and make sure I don't have any powder so at the top. Say, so here's our stick. Here's our, okay, so okay. So here is our, our stick pack, okay? I like to flick the, the top, the end that I'm gonna be tearing, just to make sure I don't have any powder there and I'm gonna just use scissors to keep it clean, okay? So, I have a clean, dry pint container. I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna pour the, in, all, the entire uh, stick pack. You wanna make sure you get all of the contents in there, okay? And there's actually um, kind of a debate going on at Snowy on what is the best way to mix the sweet thickener because there are ingredients in this that that want to clump when the water hit, you know, hits the powder. So you need to be really careful when you put your water in to, you want to, to shake it and jostle it so that all of the, so the powder doesn't go into a ball. And if it does go into a ball, it just will take time for it to, like a day maybe for it to dissolve. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try doing it two different ways and we'll see which way um, dissolves the fastest. Okay, we're gonna start with making this the way that I, I have always made it, okay? So I, I have a, you wanna make sure your container is, is dry. Make sure it's dry and clean, okay? 
This is just water, regular water right here. If you can use warm water, that's even better because it will help it to dissolve faster, okay? So what I do is I, I get, once I get my water in, I start shaking the bottle, okay? And I'm only gonna go halfway full because I wanna throw a lid on and I wanna shake it. And I'm gonna shake it really well to make sure that I don't have any clumping. And it is looking really, really good. Okay. And any of these little particles that are still in there floating, that, that's not clumping, okay? That's just, that's just some of the ingredients and they're gonna dissolve. So fill it about halfway full. And you saw when I added the water, I was shaking the bottle, that's important. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way. Right about there, put your lid on and shake it again. So this is how I've always made sweet thickener and, and I don't have any problems doing it this way. You can see that we don't have any, we don't have any like floating clumps of, of uh, sweet thickener in there. It's all evenly dispersed. And it is going to, over the next couple minutes, it's gonna dissolve more and more and it'll, be, it'll end up just being clear, okay? So that's our neutral, sugar-free, simple syrup. Now we're gonna try it another way. My jug is leaking here, that's okay. Okay, so we are going to put, fill this about halfway full, is what I was told. And same thing, one stick to a pint, flick the top so you don't have any powder in there. Okay, we'll, we'll try it this way. So you wanna sprinkle this in uh, as you are jostling the, the bottle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake this and we're gonna see how it looks. This one looked like it was actually starting to clump, but looks pretty good to me now. You know, I think actually one way, one, one thing to think about is if you're using a container, let's say you, you you have your sweet thickener in this, in this bottle and you run out, your container is going to be wet. And so it is kind of good to know that you can, you can do it either way. Okay, now I wanted to do one other experiment to show, to show you why you can't just take a packet of Splenda, which is sucralose. Splenda is just a brand of sucralose. Why you can't, you know, go to the store and get Splenda, sucralose, and put it in a bottle and add water to it, okay? So we'll just do a little demonstration here. So I'm gonna do about, well, that's way, actually. I mean, really, this is, this is more than you would even, this is more than we, than we did in either of those, okay? But this, this, there's more product in here than there is in the stick pack, but. I would say it's about there. Okay, so fill this up with water. We really don't need to worry about shaking this because this is just straight sucralose. This doesn't have any of the other ingredients in it that make it uh, thick like the Snowy's Sweet Thickener does. Okay, and you can see, I just have some of it in the bottom. So what I want to do now is add some flavor to these and put them on ice so you can really see the difference between Snowy's Sweet Thickener and 
making your own sweet thickener at home, essentially. Let's add some flavor to our sugar-free syrup. I think we should add this new flavor, which we launched this summer, along with about 14 other flavors, zombie virus. We also have a zombie antivirus and so many other new flavors. If you haven't seen uh, the, the, the new flavors, go to our website and you can see there's probably over a dozen new flavors that we launched this summer. This is a four ounce bottle of concentrate. If we were, if we were flavoring a quart, like this size, we would use a whole ounce, but since we're doing pints, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go from, for example, the two to the two and a half, okay? So I'm gonna go from a, a little bit right, right there or so. Okay, so we're gonna add some flavor and then shave some ice and see why the sweet thickener is so incredible and different. And we are the only company that offers anything like this. Okay. And this flavor is so good. It's blueberry and lime. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's about a half an ounce. So you can even see, look at the way the flavor is settling in the sweet thickener versus just the sucralose and water. We only need to do these two because this is the same thing. So we'll just do those. Okay. Put a flip top on there. This is a new pour spout. We also came out with these this summer in case you haven't uh, seen this. It's kind of nice because it eliminates the need for a dust cap. You can, you can close the top. Okay. And... Let's shave some ice and let's, let's test it out. All right, we are going to use the uh, snowy block shaver to shave some ice for our little experiment. The ice that this machine puts out is amazing. It is really fine and powdery, like real snow. And we're gonna use clear cups so we can watch the flavor uh, disperse into the snow. Oh yeah, this is cold snow. All right, let's, let's, let's see what the difference is here, okay. This is our water and sucralose. This is, this is basically what, if you were gonna make your own sugar-free syrup at home, um, this is what you would do. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see what this is. See how it's pouring on? Can you, can you see that, how quickly that's? I mean, it's water. See, it's just, it is just pouring out of the bottle. I have no control over it at all because it's not thick. Now this is the sweet thickener. Let's see what the difference is on this. I am actually squeezing the bottle where on the, on the, on the other one, it was, it was pouring out. I had no control. You can see that I'm squeezing the bottle. Can you see, if you get in there real close, you can see how it's coating the ice. And I think the, the, what will be really noticeable is how quickly you can see this is green all the way to the bottom. It went right through the ice. And um, I mean, look at how long this is taking. Okay, that is how real simple syrup acts on ice. Slowly, slowly.
and you can see here it's already turning white where the the, the the color is leaving, all of the liquid is leaving the, the top of the ice and it's just gonna end up in the bottom of the cup. With the sweet thickener, it's staying where it's supposed to be. Even, it's amazing, the texture of this is, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is just, it's, it, it's, it's exactly like if you had a shaved ice and you put Diet Coke on it. You know, that's what a lot of people, you know, do if there's not a sugar-free option and they're diabetic or they, you know, they don't want to eat sugar, they, there's no other option other than, you know, putting a sugar-free drink. If you, if you have a stand and, you know, you, you, you sell shaved ice, you can offer a sugar-free option to people and you will, you will not believe how, many, how much more business you will get because you have, you offer this and, it, and it's different. A lot, of, a lot of other, you know, stands may not offer this. Or if you just have a little snowy and you, you, you have it at, in, at the pool in the backyard and you like to make shaved ice for your family, maybe you, you want to try the sweet thickener because you don't, you don't want your kids to have all of that sugar, okay? But you can, I mean, it is noticeable, the difference here. And it is delicious. It really is so good. It's really good. I love this flavor, this zombie virus. Okay, so now we've, we um, have introduced you to the Sweet Thickener. It's a great option, a great sugar-free option. Uh, we also have a new product that uh, we launched this summer and it is a sugar-free, completely natural um, alternative to sugar. It's made with stevia and some other natural sweeteners and you know, it, we, it, we've done the same thing with the with the stevia, we've we've mixed it so that it is thick and sweet, just like simple syrup. And so I'm gonna introduce that to you next week. I'll show you how to make it. And we also have a new uh, product that no one even knows about. This is really exciting. It's a 75% reduced sugar option. So you, it, you buy the powder and it's a blend of sugar and stevia. It's totally natural, but it's 75% less sugar which is really nice because you still get a, a lot of that mouth feel that you get with, with uh, regular simple syrup made with 100% sugar. And in doing taste tests with people around the office and kids that were here when we were trying to develop it, a lot of people couldn't even tell that it wasn't 100% sugar. And so that's a really great option too, is just to have something that's 75% less sugar but still has some sugar in it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check in next week for another episode of Flavor Friday, where you're gonna learn about stevia and the reduced sugar option we have. And every week after that, we're gonna, we're gonna be launching new products and educating you guys on products that we already have. So thanks for watching. Bye.